I'm pretty sure I peed my pants. It was not okay. So that was traumatic. Sorry for the TMI. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about my trip to Europe, specifically Italy. So I went on this trip through EF Study Abroad and I'm gonna leave a couple links to EF tours if you wanna check them out. You can get a free brochure with more travel information or you can enter their Win Your Summer giveaway where you can win a free trip for the summer. Anyways, today we're gonna talk about Italy. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below and let's get into the video. So in my last video, I talked about Paris and London and my experiences there and it left off with us arriving at our hotel in Florence. Yes, there was a bidet there. I did not use it because I was a little bit scared. Italy was definitely my favorite part of the trip. It was just so pretty, so much good food, just good vibes everywhere. The people were so nice. We started our day in Florence with a tour guide and it was raining outside the first day, but I didn't even care because I'm like, this just adds to the beauty somehow. I would never want to drive there because there's so many people just walking around, but like the people driving weren't even rude. In like London, people would be like honking at us, like get out of the way. One time we started walking at a crosswalk and then someone was like, why are you walking? They're not gonna stop for you. I guess we're just we're just used to being able to walk on a crosswalk in the United States. <laughs> but Italy was not like that. Everyone was super nice. And the city was beautiful. There were sculptures everywhere. We had the whole day to just basically explore and see the city. Wait, when did I get that sandwich? There was one other gluten-free girl on the trip, so we decided to go to a gluten-free sandwich place, and it was so good. You probably wouldn't have even noticed that the bread was gluten-free. I guess there's a lot of like celiac people in Italy more than the US. There are more like gluten-free places and I'm like, this is heaven for me. Like I was so excited about that. And then we went to a gluten-free gelato place cause gelato is a big thing there. And they had like gluten-free waffle cones. It was great. Like, let me put this picture of what the gelato looked like at first. And then this started happening. <laughs> The gelato was just kind of like exploding everywhere. Literally just down our arms, down our hands. We had like one second of being like, oh, this is so cute. This is just, this is just great. Take a picture of it. And then the whole thing starts freaking like downpouring. We had a puddle on the ground. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I peed my pants cause I was laughing so hard. So that was traumatic, but there were just cool like little markets around the city, people selling paintings that they were doing. And we walked so much. I think we walked 16 miles that day. My feet were like swelling up. It was not okay. If you look at like my month, on my phone of like my steps. It's like down here. And then like I go to Europe and it's like, bow. <laughs> it like shoots up. So at dinner we had pasta and most meals were like three course. We were eating so much food. Um, so we had that group dinner, which was so nice. Was so then we were trying to find a place to go after dinner. <laughs> Electronic discotheca? Oh what my gosh. What the hell? Can we go there? Yeah, why not? <laughs> but we ended up going to this really cool place. I think it was called like a um, student, like social, the uh, social club maybe? Social club hub, something, okay. something. It's this place for like young adults, kind of like a co-working space. There's a bar at the top, which we went to. The whole area was kind of just cool. We got gelato again after that. This looks so good. I only brought a carry-on and a personal item, like a backpack on this trip. So I was trying to like slim down on everything and I ran out of socks. So here I am washing my socks in the sink and I look like a wet rat. So sorry about that. I just need a couple, I just need a couple of fresh pairs of socks. Ew. <gasps> And then the next day, we got on a bus to go to Rome, actually, from Florence. It's crazy. Like, my 
brain can't really comprehend it. We stopped at Assisi, I think is what it's called. Really cute area, so, so pretty. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> It felt like a movie, like that you would see people like frolicking through the fields. Like I just want to spend uh, a month living here. And why can't I do that? Can I be here for a month? You think that would be doable? A month? Yeah. And we stopped at this farm and had like a really good lunch there. They did wine tasting. I honestly don't even know what I ended up eating because most people had lasagna and they gave me something else because gluten-free. I think it was lentils. It was actually good. And that's what I'm saying is like Italy food was just so much better. I'll have a lot of like stomach issues with like literally anything just cause like the preservatives in the US are so bad. But there like, I didn't have a like problem with anything. And I don't even know what dessert was. I don't know what that is, but cream, something cream related. And then we went more into the town of Assisi. <laughs> I got more gelato. <laughs> I got so much gelato in Italy because I was like, Psh, when, when in Rome, literally. <laughs> and then I think I told my story about, let's just say, I mean, you just listen to the video. I'm not going to say it right now. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, I, just, oh. I just had a weird, no, it's I just had a weird experience. Is this TMI to share on the internet? Mm, I don't think so. We go to this freaking lunch on a farm and it's great. Then tragedy strikes. I get my um, get my special lady friend. Uh, no way. No way. <gasps> someone wanted to see me. It turns out it was my time. <laughs> it was Shark Week. It was Shark Week, if you know what I'm saying. No preparations were made for this. Two weeks early, so that's great. Taney's Shark Week was mm -hmm. was also Happening early. Right now, it was also early. It was also early, so we're assuming traveling to Europe makes your Shark Week come. <laughs> so I'm a little bit in the middle of a crisis in Assisi, Italy. I went to a pharmacy, tried to get some supplies, but I do in fact have a three-hour bus ride after this to go to Rome. So it's really not the best circumstances, but I'm trying to um, think about the fact that it looks like this. So that's pretty good. So I guess that's really all that matters. We gotta go see the Basilica of St. Francis in a minute. <laughs> so I hope I see you guys on the other side tomorrow. I mean, later. <laughs> Two weeks. I'm sorry I'm sharing this information, but I just have to because that's not normal for me and it just shows how much your body can be confused because I think two other girls had the same thing happen and like nobody was prepared. I was not prepared at all. Like nothing. So sorry for the TMI. I just had to share that because it's weird. It's weird how like your body is like, where are you? Like, what are you doing? So that's interesting. Oh, got a McDonald's notification. Ew. Um, I got this giant water. Freaking huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's huge. It's huge. How can I show the size of this thing? It was so hard to like get water for some reason. Like the whole trip I was dehydrated because like it wasn't like readily available usually. And we had to buy bottled water and we weren't always at a place where we could buy it. If I was on a trip on my own, not with a tour group, I would probably be staying in one place and I would buy like a couple gallons. But we were like moving every two days. So like we couldn't, there was no time to buy a gallon of water and carry it around on buses. And I accidentally bought frizzante freaking sparkling water. I'm like, well, I don't really want to chug this. Like I wanted like nice, refreshing, not fizzed water, but 
oh well. This is when our tour director bought some candy for us. She got us candy at the gas station that she wanted us to try. So we tried that, so good. I wish I could have bought some to bring home, but I did not have the space for that. And then we start singing this song, singing this Italian song. I don't know about anyone else, but I was definitely a little bit like delirious just from the whole day. <laughs> So we're like screaming out this music. <laughs> And then we get to our hotel in Rome, and here's a little tour of that. We got to the hotel, and it's... Tini got on Italian Bumble. <laughs> yeah, I did. Anyways, we got to our place. We We're, have a personal guardian. Um, yeah, we got someone watching over us right now, so I don't know what to say about that, but it's, it is happening. So we're here, and here's the tour. Okay, here it is. <laughs> we got two little beds. We got this beautiful painting. Hmm. Looks like we can order some breakfast. Oh, just kidding. That's actually not what that is. So here we are. Little sink in here. <gasps> oh, these look nice. A shower cap, Tainy. Just for you. Okay, I want to use this just because it looks fancy. Again, we got the bidet. Let's go. And toilet. And a cute little shower here. I might have to try out the bidet because I didn't at the last one. <laughs> but I might have to. So, yeah, there's the, um, there's the tour. <laughs> and then I washed my feet in the bidet. I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? This is the face of an icon legend. An icon legend. Can I take one of these? I'm gonna take one of these. Ew, not with the grippers, ew. <laughs> Yeah, so I washed my feet in the bidet, but I didn't use it how it was supposed to be used. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna get some hate for that, but <laughs> I don't know why I was wanting to wash my feet. I think it oh it was before dinner, just a little foot washing before dinner. <laughs> so after we got to our hotel in Rome, we went out for dinner and I got probably the probably the best pasta that I had there. And we got a little charcuterie to share. I also got tiramisu. I just wanna go back so that I can eat all the food again because that was just so good. So the next day, I think this was our last day and we were in Rome. We did see St. Peter's Basilica and then we went to the Colosseum. That place is huge. And it was cool too because we had a guided tour there and she told us all about like the gladiators and like like all the fights that they had there and stuff. Then we went to lunch. I had pasta again, of course, gluten-free. This one was very like rich, but like it was so freaking good. We saw the Trevi fountain. I actually did throw a coin over my shoulder, but I don't know where that video is. I think someone else on the trip took it, but I don't know who. So I have this video like of a terrible view. <laughs> the other video went someone took it it's on someone's phone somewhere and what else we just went um throughout the city <laughs> one of the girls rented a scooter because she didn't want to walk she just rode past us on a scooter we saw the spanish steps we just explored a little bit got more gelato obviously this one was like kind of bigger than i expected i think i spent like ten dollars on this i just have to say when in rome again because i don't know i would not do that here i just <laughs> you just what <laughs> i just had to tell the vlog of that <laughs> i spent oh gonna get hit by a car that i spent 10 euros on gelato hello
so yeah we just explored the area we went like upstairs in this little area and there's a guy playing music there were a lot of people just like singing and playing music everywhere violins and stuff like that or just like that guy just had a speaker and he was just singing like a big pizza pie it's a more then we had our last dinner together again i had some fresh tomato and mozzarella i will not eat tomatoes by themselves but like this it's so like fresh there we were supposed to have a pizza dinner so of course i didn't eat pizza at all in rome because i thought we were getting a a planned pizza dinner but it ended up being pasta i guess there was like a mix-up or something so a lot of us were like where's our pizza <laughs> i'm like i don't want to be ungrateful but i really did want to eat pizza in rome i didn't end up doing that but the pasta was obviously so good still they put a little sign by my plate and it said no gluten i was like yes no gluten but yeah that was our last day there almost the whole trip was planned out by ef tours so if you guys want to check them out again i have links in the description if you're interested in traveling with them there's a free brochure you can order with more travel information or you could just enter their win your summer giveaway and maybe win a free trip again those links will be down below if you guys want any more information on that let me know and i'll make another video about it like i said i also went to paris and london so if you want to check out that video I'll link it down below as well. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. You want to cheers our waters? Yeah, I'll cheers. Oh, that's really bad.